Okay, y'all, I wanted to come in and show you what I got for my sewing machine. And I want to explain a couple things about it. And then I'm going to show you how to use it if you don't know how. I had to figure it out too. So, um, And then I'm going to show you um, some things that uh, are wrong with it, <laughs> if that's the right way to put it. First, well, first of all, let me start off by saying this is not the correct cassette for my Husqvarna. But it works, and I'm, I'm happy with it because they are so hard to find, and I wanted a letter cassette so that I could monogram things and um, do other things with it, which I'll show a couple of those things in, at the end of this video. But um, I'll show you why it is not the correct one. Let me get to a blank. Can you see you can see the screen? I want to clear this one out. Now, if you can see the screen here, I'm going to show you why I know it's not the correct cassette style. This is style. I, st I still don't know what they're for because they don't work properly. But when I click style, I get the letter J. Okay, when I click this little fancy A, uh, capital and lowercase A, I get the letter T. And this, I just don't know what these are. <laughs> if somebody knows, please explain it to me. I get a circle on this L point with the arrow pointing down. And then when I do the arrow pointing up, I get an A. And I don't know how to change that. Because, like I said, it's the wrong cassette, so these pretty little, three little fancy designs here don't work at all. They're actually, um, they have no function. They're, they're, they're these. A couple of them are these. And this one, when I push this one, this little broken line here, well, if it'll even work now. I push that broken line, I get a comma. I push that one, I that dash, I get a slash. <laughs> I don't know, is that forward flat facing or backward I guess that's backward facing. And these little custom letters here don't do anything because it is the wrong cassette. But, like I said, okay, see, that's the zero. That's the letter zero, if you can see that. And all these letters here work okay. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, the numbers. I said letters, I know. I don't know what that little doohickey right there is. But when I push that zero, that's what I get. It's that right there, if you can see it. But I'm, I'm happy with it, and I bought it on eBay. I got it really cheap. I think I got it for 12 bucks. And it was, you know, they are so hard to find that I was just happy to find one. I didn't know it didn't wasn't the correct one when I got it. But after I figured it out, um figured out how to actually work it to um, write with it or you know I guess you call it embroidering I'm happy with it not you know can't blame it on the eBay seller because I went back and looked at the list and I said well obviously I guess it doesn't work with my machine but it does work so if you find one of these and you've got a machine that the cassette will fit in you can I think especially if it's letters or numbers you can make it work I don't know about the designs because you know, if it's not the correct cassette and it's all designs, they may not work at all. But anyway, let me get this. I'm so out of breath today. I'm just tired. I've had a long couple of weeks. Anyway, let me get my camera put up on the tripod and I will show you my intention of what I'm going to mainly be using this for. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see this screen good enough to so that I can show you what I'm doing. I may have to zoom in a couple of times and then zoom back out. But if you don't know, if you don't have a booklet, which I did, um, my friend who gave me the machine sent me the booklets, which were really helpful because <laughs> it's, um, it is impossible to figure this out if you don't have the book to show you how to do the stitching. But uh, this is one I did last night. I don't know if you can see it. What I want to do is make labels, specialty labels. I'm not going to put them in everything I make because obviously it would get costly. But um, this, I've got DearJulian.com, and I'm going to make these into a label to go on the handbags and things like that. But anyway, to set your machine 
so that it will write out a sentence. First thing we need to do is select uh, select function and you might have to press it a couple times or well just press it once. Press it once, I'm sorry. And then you will pick one. Um, it has nine that you can save to memory and this one's blank so I'm going to use it and I'm going to spell it out. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with a D. Since I already have one set for Dear Julian, I'm going to um, spell Daisy's name. So I've got the D, then I'm going to press that arrow that goes to the right side. Press the A, the arrow to the right side. Press the I, which is in the correct place, and I'll show you the ones that aren't. And then I'm pressing the arrow again. Now this one is not the S. The R is the S on this one since it's not the right cassette and it's not obviously not programmed right I guess. And then I'm going to press the side arrow and find the Y which oh crap. And this one is the W. Now I've got Daisy spelled out. Now over here there is a stop sign. You push stop and you'll see this is that a colon or a semicolon? I forget what you call that. That shows that it will stop stitching unless you keep your foot on the pedal it will it will stitch it start stitching the name again but um so i've got it set and the next thing i want to do is hit the select function again which is the program function and it's ready to go okay so now that i've programmed it i'm ready to just stitch it and I'm sure that this would make different size lettering but because this cassette doesn't work you're only going to get the small lettering. I haven't figured out a way to increase the size of the, let the numbers and letters. If I do I'll come back and show a video on that. Okay so I'm just going to press my foot down. Okay see so now it's done. Can you see that? I don't know if you can or not. You see, we got Daisy written right there. Really pretty, really neat. And I found that one layer of fabric just doesn't do it. It's too thin and it won't. It wants to break the thread. I am using a thread that I bought at Walmart, a small spool that says embroidery stitching or something like that on it. And if you're going to do this and you have this machine, I recommend getting one, a little tiny pair of these scissors because you can clip really close and get all this extra string off of here. I think what I'm going to try to do next is I'm going to take one layer of interfacing and iron it to what would be the bottom of this and then fold the fabric over and try it that way too because you get a lot of puckering and I've tried loosening up the um, presser foot and the oh, crap tension <laughs> can't think today and it still gets a lot of puckering but I like it I like the look of it and that's what I wanted it for I had hoped I could find a, um, a cursive writing cassette but I, you know I was lucky to find this one and I was lucky it was so cheap and um, like I said, you know, I say like I said too damn much. Um, anyway, you know, you may find one that will fit your machine but isn't programmed for your machine because these have different um, numbers and styles. Um, but I made it work and I like the um, what it does. It's, it's going to serve its purpose very well. For the other stuff that I make, like the clothing, I'm going to continue to use for right now anyway the iron-on labels that I make, but I like this for the purses because I pr could probably actually go in right on the lining and sew in that DearJulian.com and I had started on this before I did the video, but I, I clip between the letters. I hope that's what you're supposed to do. If I'm doing that wrong and somebody knows, you can tell me, but I, it, it blended too much. If I didn't clip some of that extra thread, you can see that right there, that Julian, that looks like three L's right next to each other so I wanted to make sure it was you know legible readable so 
I clip these little strings in here and it, get, it can be hard, but these little scissors are really handy. I bought these at Walmart yesterday because I had read in the, um, the instruction book that my friend gave me with the machine that you needed, you know, little scissors to clip the thread, so I'm assuming that's what it's for and that you're supposed to clip them. So anyway, that's my quick little video on how to program a, a, your cassette for your um, Viking, Husqvarna Viking, if I'm saying that backwards, let me know too. Anyway, yes, I will be making custom labels for my bags and things from now on. So that's it, y'all. Peace. Bye-bye.